little foundations and floor slab. Uh, so what you can see here coming from the basement is coming from the basement. Sorry, guys. Here's the actual foundation itself. Okay. And we're coming on up. This area here is backfill. Okay, because when you remove this, like they have a lovely profile here, but in all truth, usually what it is, is it usually comes down here like this, or like this along here. So it would normally be a, a, a trench, and you're not going to get it perfectly to the distance. So usually it's a little bit bigger, and you come down like this, and it, it wouldn't have that flange on the outer edge. So this has to be compacted down as well. Okay, so you have your foundations. You, what we don't actually have here is we don't have steel. And often underneath the steel, you might also have some little risers to keep steel off the ground uh, when the concrete slab is being poured. You have your walls coming up. Usually there might be a different profile in these. These might be on the edges, and they might be called rising walls up to about 650. Usually up to damp course level. There's one damp course membrane and here's another one here. So there's one in the wall and then there's one underneath the slabs. So there's your rough slab. There's your insulation. There's your finished screed as well slab. Okay, so up here you got two types of insulation you got the uh, rigid insulation in here and this is in the cavity and the cavity is caused by two blocks on either side leaving the cavity leaving a uh, a hole a gap and that cavity is then filled by the insulation and up here you can see a different type of insulation up here Okay, so it's hard to see, is that actually rigid or is that actually pumped in wall? Most likely rigid. So these will have slightly different, um, slightly different um, profiles to them. You can see the outside here, okay? And you can see that this, this slab here is higher than the outside. So that cuts down transference of damp into the house. Also cuts down transfer downs coming up and coming laterally as well. You can also hear there's another damp course tray there coming on in. So it's just a really, really clear overview of what a cavity wall looks like coming out of foundations. Often the rising walls won't have the cavity. They'll actually just be these blocks put on an edge all the way up and sometimes you'll have a terminal block thermal a quinlight for example block right here and right here in this area so it just is another aid for thermal conducting and it just means that there won't be any cold bridging coming in at that stage and it'll push any cold coming in <coughs> outwards okay guys so that's just a nice little example of uh, foundations, rising walls, cavity walls, your slab and the outside, your compacted material here as well.